Okay, John Deere LA100 five speed and we are going to be removing the deck the drive bell the deck and we're going to be repairing the blade replacing it or repairing it probably replacing it for video purposes but I'll probably just bend the metal back to where it was with a hammer so let's get started let's do it Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is lower the deck. Lower it all the way down. Lower it all the way down. And now it's time to look down here. Here we go. Okay, going down here. Some rust. I need to spray paint that. Or paint it. And the first thing I see is this... This... Why this line right? I'm just gonna remove these two bolts and pull the whole thing off. So this is a 10 millimeter. Put it on there and go. Alright, and Alright. Okay. Remove those out of there. Now you don't have to worry about this line being attached down here and always remember danger rotating blade <clears throat> do not put hands or feet under or into mower when engine is running nice little graphics here look at that mm, that's very nice isn't that cool <clears throat> all right so next next on the list is to get these little fasteners and put them in a safe place <clears throat> i'm gonna set them right there oh don't go in the grass and because we'll be cutting the grass later to make this very easier, we're going to take this cotter pin off up here. So we're going to take this cotter pin off and just slide that off. That'll make things a whole lot easier. Okay, right behind the back left tire, there is the top of that um, device. I'm going to take this cotter pin off with these nice duckbill, nice duckbill pliers. Let's go. Okay, here's a better angle. We'll get on, on there. Pull up. Alright. Now that's off there. We can just take this. I'm looking through the camera. So take that washer off. Remember how it goes on. And just slide it over. Just like so. And now it's off to the other side. So let's go over there. Here, I'll take you on a journey. Put this up on the tripod. And we're going to take you on a journey. Over to the other side. And it'll be down here. There that is. Get that all set up. Here, I'll zoom in. Get it all set up. And hold on. Okay. Be, try my left hand here. Oh, there we go. Got that off. All right. Get the washer. And then just move that over. And let it drop. Let it drop. And now, take you on another journey to the front side. Ooh, got some rust there. We'll have to spray paint that. Sand it off and, and spray paint. Go over here to the front. Which is... I'll be a little. I'm gonna have to. Here, I'll I'll do a little jump cut. Okay. I'll wiggle that one off. And just remember how it went. Get that little washer off there, and slide this off. Now we're ready to get those other two parts. All right. I definitely need to. Sand, sand this off and paint. This is the the other end of the first one, the first cotter pin I took off. So we're just going to take that one out of there and get that little washer off. Now, now's when it's it should 
There we go. All right, now it's off to the other side. See that hanging down diagonally? We're going to not take that off. So, okay, it's very warm today. It's like 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So we got that off and get that washer all gone. Man, I need to sand this this side down too and paint it. That way we can slow down that rust buildup. That's a little tricky. Man. There. How about that? Alright, now. Alright, and now it's time to it's time to do the next thing. Okay, 10 millimeter. There's a fastener. There's a fastener. The belt goes in here, so we need to get this off. There's a fastener back here. So there's, there's three back there. There's three fasteners that I can see right now. So, get and of course the back one's going to be a 10 millimeter deep socket. That's the only way to access it because it's really hard to get to. So, that's that. 42. That's the meaning. Okay. Remove that cover and clean it off a little bit because it's a little had a lot of grass and just bugs, all kind of what have you. I don't know how to a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver to clean it out. Get all this crap out of there. Oh man. Anyway, here's the belt. Because you want to be able to take the belt off and inspect it. And before you take the belt off, I did a little uh, crude picture right here. It's gonna it's gonna look a little funny. I did a little crude picture here. So as you can see, the circles are the pulleys and the, the line is the belt. So it goes like that. Looks like some kind of phallic symbol goes underneath that pulley, and goes around that pulley, and goes this way around that pulley. So it goes like that. So that's the the way the pulley goes. And there might be some animals down in here. It's hard to look through this mulch here, but there might be some little bit of insects and animals down in here. So just uh, keep an eye out for them and just, you know, transplant them out into the grass. All right, I'm going to clean this out, and here we go. Okay, so I went over here, and this is part of the, right above the cutting surface. Just pull this belt off right here, and as you pull it off, over here, there's the tensioner. You'll have a tensioner on your lawnmower. You might have to adjust it. This one I can just push back and forth, and it loosens it, tightens it. But you might have to use a, a um, socket wrench. To tighten and loosen it but this one you just just pull the belt off just find your way make sure you you write down how it all comes off this one's gonna be a little tricky getting off because it has all these little metal parts that won't allow the belt off in certain areas all right i'll pull this out i still got some of the belt to remove You might want to have this have these on wood blocks, but I didn't bother. So as you can see, some of the belt's still on there. Be careful with this. Okay, to make things easier, this line here goes up here. I'm just gonna. Take it out of the snap here. That way I'll lose, get some, take this off, give myself some more, a little bit more slack, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, that's an eight millimeter. So, eight millimeter slack. And I'll have slack on this line, so I can just flip the whole assembly up. Once, 
once I get this belt off, I'll just end up just, and here's the, um, the tensioner pulley. Loosen this a little bit so you can have play going back and forth. Okay, so there, this is, that belt's still on there, it's still got a little bit of tension, but I got a slack here. Bring it out here. It's got some spider crap going on down here. So look out. Okay, there's that bad boy. I'm gonna clean out all the spider spider homes. Okay, you should take the belt off and everything and have this upside down but I'm doing it like this because you know it's just what I do I mostly work on the Ford Contour but today is a lawnmower so the block of wood on the bottom is holding the blade because when I turn the, the one inch wrench one inch width over the, the top end I'm using that end so and it's starting to turn as you can see yeah watch out this blade is sharp so wear heavy gloves alright shorts because it's like 80 degrees so there's the bolt it's all rounded off and everything there's my calf muscle I need to get in shape oh there goes the blade remember how it goes back on there because you gotta put it back on the, the way it was already on there, so. Zip. So you take your blade off, you inspect it, look at it, this one's rusty, and you know, get your replacement ready. You might need to sharpen this, you know. I'm not gonna sharpen it because I don't feel like sharpening it, and I don't wanna send it off to get it sharpened. And I'm not even gonna buy a new one, but this is how you replace it, so you get your new one. Alright, so, oh wow. I got my shiny new, just pretend this is the blade, I got my shiny new blade and I'm going to put it back on here. So, and you can even look, if you forget how it went on there, you know what, look, you have another blade. Unbelievable. There's two blades on this lawnmower, so just do it exactly as it is. So, you look at it, you match it up, so, hmm, that goes like that, that goes like that, so. You know, it's a flat end. This part is just flat. And you can see this is side is more rusty, so this is where the the rusted part of the bolt was. <laughs> it's all rusted. So clean this off. Anybody's anybody's a tough guy with penetrant oil. So just put that on there. Especially your little um fastener here. Just spray it on there. Oh, I love that stuff. It just, it's amazing. I gotta tell you, it is so amazing. And just gotta, you know, match it up. Match it up with that one. Okay, wow, it goes on like that. That's totally amazing. Put that on there. Get your bolt back on there. Though this is rounded off so much, you might want to get a new bolt. So I recommend you get a new bolt if it's rounded off. But to at least two of these sides, I could catch with this. If not, you know, I'd get a vice grip and just clamp it on there. Oh, get it off. So, hand tight until you can't. Oh, it's starting to move already. Get this ready. Put it right there. Actually, put it back in the groove. What it was making. It was all oh, yeah, right there. Okay, you're gonna to want to have a 22 millimeter socket holding the pulley on while you're tightening down. This very very cool rusted bolt so when you're putting on your new blade this is what you do okay it's a little circus act but you hold this over here and you make sure that when you're tightening it okay so you want you're going to put this on tightening mode all right so put that on that fastener put that on there and you want to this one, this side you pull up, and this side you pull down, so if it makes you feel like a mechanical wizard. So you want to go get your purple hat on, and 
just be a mechanical wizard. Watch out for the blade because it'll it'll try to cut you. Oh my goodness! And watch out for your fingers going along here because you don't want to you know you don't want to have to go get a tetanus shot because this is really rusty. And you can see it's going on there really good because I sprayed that penetrating oil. And oh my goodness, that penetrating oil is your best friend removing fasteners off vehicles, lawn mowers. You know, it smells, just smell it. Just, well, don't smell it, but you, you, you can't help, help it but to smell it. But when you smell it, you know it's working. And that, ain't, ain't that the truth. So get this on here nice and tight. Refer to your manual about how tight your torque specifications are because you don't want this blade flying off <sighs> and you don't want to you don't want to get it too tight but that sucker is on there as you can see same thing over here this time set the 22 millimeter to loosening and you'll be loosening with the big old wrench it is a one inch and you'll be putting it on here while holding that side and I sprayed penetrating oil which really worked worked great the PB blaster and as you can see now it just comes right off okay use your wire brush and PB blaster penetrating oil, penetrating oil and just get in here real good get all the rust and crap out of the uh, threads and same thing with um, oh. Where are we going? Thing with this right here. I can't even see it in the camera. Okay, yeah, same thing with this. Just wire brush those threads. That way, when you go to put on the fastener, it goes on there really good. I sprayed it with penetrating oil already. And make sure this is on right. Ah, oh, there's bugs. Anyway, so I to put that back on there. And see how it just slides on there really really good and as it when it gets tight that's when you got to start doing the tightening procedure where you tighten the other side you hold that in tightening mode 22 millimeter you hold it steady while you tighten this with the uh, 22 millimeter or what one inch one inch and then metric 22 millimeter so good times that's how you replace a blade on a riding lawn. As you can see, I carelessly forgot the washer. <laughs> so, clean that washer off real good and then put it on and then put your <laughs> then put your bolt on. <laughs> now that's funny. And I was wondering why I was going on there so far. Okay, when you put this blade back on there, make sure you get on the spindle right here. And make sure you have it the right side up. Just check the other blade and make sure you took it all the same way. There, it's all the way on the spindle. And now get your washer. I got it all PB blasted and cleaned. Put it up on there. And then you start your wash, I mean, start your fastener. Oh man. And then you want to tighten down by holding down the pulley side. I have a 22 millimeter socket wrench on there and on this side is a one inch uh, wrench so that's how we're going to do that Resistance or nothing. 
There, finally we got resistance. Like when we got tight, we gotta tighten it down. Feeling they're good. All right, that's on there, good. Now you gotta make sure that blade stays up on that spindle in there the whole time when you're when you're tightening it, because it wants to come off there. So, yeah, that's a little tricky to do. It took me a couple of times. I got it. Okay, installation installation is reversal of removal. Here's the tensioner. Just kind of pull it in and out and get your belt back on. Get it exactly as it was before. So Okay, to get that belt back on, you gotta move this back and forth until you have enough slack for the belt. Because I was having a problem, I wouldn't have enough slack. But I realized I had to move the whole deck forward or back. Get the belt back on and then hook up all these back the way you took them off. Alright, now it's time to put these back on. So just get them up, lock them in position. Just kind of wiggle the lower on there. Just wiggle the lower, wiggle that back on. Okay, so this part right here. That was the last thing I took off before the belt. So get that put in that hole and then put the washer on and put the cotter pin. And now I get the back two with the cotter pins. You got to position the deck mower so you get this big old black part to line up with that. And then put the cotter pin, I mean, put the washer on and then get the cotter pin in. And as I already have it in, all right, so that's in. It's not going anywhere. Oh my goodness, yes it is. Just get that in there. There we go. All right, this goes in like this. And it turns. And this part up here just goes over this right here. And then you get your washer, put that over there, and put your cotter pin in. And don't forget about this bad boy right here. So position it right, and get the bolts down on it. Alright. Don't forget to put this bad boy back up. So put that back on, as it was. Hopefully this was a uh, eight millimeter. What am I doing holding the camera? There we go. Got the tripod. Looks for a nice steady shot. So let's get that on there before the battery runs dead on the camera. So let's get that started. And we're about done here, so make sure you get all your connections back up. And once you get your connections back up, run your mower, and you have successfully changed out, replaced your blade, your blade on your John Deere LA100 5 speed. And it really takes a lot of work just to get to the two blades on there. Uh, make sure you use lubricant lubricate all the zerk fittings and everything and you'll just have a good old time as I did thank you and I'll, I'll run the, I'll run the tractor make sure it's done right don't forget to put on old uh, 42 